Hi, hello, welcome. If you're new here or welcome back, either either way, hi. I do not own this fanfiction, nor do I own the beautiful fan art used in, in this video. Uh, with that being said, hopefully you enjoy it. Curious POV. I have a girlfriend named Juan Alan. She's a chubby girl from my class. She was the first manager in the host club. We got together due to the arranged marriage that my father arranged since me and her were children. Though, we've only known each other throughout middle school. Juan is in my room. We were cuddling each other. She was an amazing person. She succeeded on breaking my cold heart. I mean, anyone who dared to wake me up, they'd be dead by now. But if Juan wakes me up, I'm gonna stand up properly. I clearly remember how the others brought me to the mall. Hey, remember that time when I almost cut the other host? I asked as she looks up at me and nodded. Yeah, luckily though, I was there. They were so shocked about it. Ryan said as I smiled and kissed her forehead. Flashback in third person POV. Kilia was sleeping on his bed and the host club decided to bring him to the commoner's mall. So they went inside his room without permission. Of course, they had tried many different ways to wake him up, but Kiyoya isn't moving an inch. One, on the other hand, was smiling while watching them wake Kiyoya up. Of course, she didn't want to interfere Kiyoya's sleep because she cares about his health, so she stands behind them. Once the host club manages to get Kiyoya on Tamakisuo's back, they went to the commoner's mall. All of the host club got excited, and Tamaki suddenly left Kyoya on a bench near where Wan is. She was looking for a yaoi slash yuri manga, because, yeah, she knows that commoners' bookstores have many yaoi slash yuri mangas. So, yeah, when she got back, she saw Kyoya alone while she sighed. Probably the others got so excited and left my poor Shadow King alone. One said as she smiled and sat beside Kyoya. Then one's right hand softly laid Kyoya's head onto her shoulder. Moments have passed. Kyoya woke up. Where am I? Uh, Kyoya asked as one smiled once he woke up. Had a nice sleep, Kyoya? She asked as Kyoya was confused. Um, where are we? I know you aren't the one who bought me here. So who did? Kyoya asked as Juan held onto his hand. Tamaki-kun and the others. We are at a, at a mall. Well, as Tamaki-kun says, the commonest mall. But I'd prefer the mall rather than the rich ones. Juan said as Kyoya looked at her. Rather than that, do you want to go home? Juan asked while Kyoya smiled and squeezed her hand a bit. You know me so well, my love. I want to go home and spend the rest of the day with you, Kyoya said as he looked through his pocket. Uh, my phone is at home. How about yours? Kyoya asked as Wan smiled and looked through her bag, then her pockets. Uh, or my phone is in here as well, Kyokan. Wan said as Kyo sighed. Did you forget it somewhere? He asked. Calmly, while one had to remember the foolish members took her phone. Uh, Tamaki-kun said that no phones are allowed, so he confiscated them all. <laughs> one said as Kyoya sighed. Well, there is nothing we can help it. What can we do? Kyoya asked as one smiled. It's up to you, Kyokan. I'm happy as long as I can spend the time with you. She said as Kyo smiled. Okay, what did you buy? He asked as one smiled. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know, the you know what bugs. One said as Kyoya chuckled, but he is still pissed off about it. He doesn't want to show his beloved that he's angry and pissed off. Not while one is acting cute and wearing a nice outfit. Then suddenly, a little kid was running and bumped into Kiyoya's right leg, which made one gasp. Uh, Sumima. Uh, the kid was startled by Kiyoya's face. A dark aura was ridiculously surrounding him, and one. 
The kid was running away while saying, Mama, ah, uh, mate, Kyokan, you shouldn't scare little kids like that. One said as Kyo sighed. That's Tomiki, he's so dead. Kyo said as one sighed, I won't stop you when you see him. They also ruined my beauty sleep. One said as Kyoya sighed, then hugged his girlfriend sideways. Eh? Kyoya senpai and one senpai? A female voice asked us both, as we both turned around to see none other than Haruhi Fujioka. What are you two doing here? Haruhi asked as one looked at her, then to Kyoya. Haruhi, how much money do you have on you? Kyoya asked as Wang was shocked. She quickly smacked his head and looked for her wallet, then opened it without looking though. Oi, Kyokan, I have money. Eh? M my money? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Ero. Haruchan, yeah, as Kyokan said. Do you have extra money? Wang asked as Kyo chuckled mentally. He has to keep calm. Uh huh. Haruhi asked, then the next moment, Haruhi, Wan, and Kyoya was were ordering food in a fast food restaurant. The waitress who works there stared at Kyoya while Wan's girl instincts, instincts came. Welcome, we'd also like to recommend our new dessert. The waitress got caught off by Kyoya. Hey, uh, I don't like sweets, Kyoya said as the waitress daydreamed. Then, how about her new kind of shake? The waitress asked, asked as Wine got annoyed by it. My boyfriend had said that he doesn't need it. Stop pursing things. Wine said and glared at the waitress who was flirting with her boyfriend. Kyoya was glaring at the waitress too, which made both Haruhi and the waitress shocked. And besides, she was flirting with my boyfriend, Haruchan. One said as Haruhi shushed the chubby girl. Then a group of girls were looking at Kyoya again. Girls instinct. One of the girls talked to Kyoya, not noticing that he was had a girlfriend already. Yara, don't come near us. Don't talk to my boyfriend and don't flirt with him. Sorry, but he is already taken, so keep your eyes focused on studying. She said at all the girls, and then they finished eating while they walked to a district for kinds of things. One had seen one of these things as Kyoya and the two girls were wandering around. Then they sat down again. This is a call for two lost children. This is a call for two lost children. Otori Kyoya Kun and Ellen Wan Chun from Tokyo. Otori Kyoya Kun. And Ellen Wen Chun, your guardian Suo Sama is waiting for you to at the second floor counter. Kyoya Kun is one hundred and eighty centimeters in height, while Wen Chun is your height. Kyoya Kun wears glasses, and Wen Chun is a cute chubby girl. Announcer said as Haruhi was shocked while Wen sighed and hung her arms around Kyoya arms. Kyo pushed back his glasses and people started to talk about them. Kyoya, Wen, and Haruhi walked to the second floor. Oh, Kyoya and Wen, you guys are safe. But why is Haruhi here too? Tamiki asked as Kyoya was beyond pissed off while Wen sighed. No, Tamiki, you idiot. You aren't my love and I sleep. You're so dead. Kyoya said as Tamaki got scared. Why and save me? <laughs> Tamaki said as he rushed to her, but one hugged Kyoya's torso. You're on your own, Tamaki kun. It's your fault anyways, she said, and that's th and that day Tamaki got beat up by Kyoya. The flesh begins. Wine's POV. As I finished refreshing back the memories, I smiled once I saw Kyoya sleeping. His hair was on his face while I brushed them away from him. I smiled and kissed his cheeks when I got startled because he grabbed my hand. He looked at me in the eye while I smiled. He kissed my hand then pecked my cheek. You're pretty cute being all jealous, one. 
kill you said as I blushed and smiled. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. I said as Kyoya chuckled while he smiled and held my hand. I love you, Warren, he said as I smiled. I love you too, Kyoya, I said as we cuddled up together. Hi, hello again. Hopefully you enjoyed it. As I said at the beginning of this video, I do not own the fanfiction nor do I own the beautiful fan art used in this video. With that being said, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, goodbye.